بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیر and today with the next topic that is we form the P injunction diode a very important topic to understand right so let me give the heading that is P N junction diode well I was noticing in the previous videos that my writing was getting smaller and smaller so now I will just try to make it a little bigger so all right so what is a p n junction diode so as the name suggests we have a p type material we have an n type material a junction means a boundary in between them diode is the name of this combination right so what do we do basically we take a semiconductor base as we have seen the n type material we've seen the p type material so we take a semiconductor base right and we 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 do what we dope one side of it with a p type material and the other side of it with an n type material so if this is a semiconductor base so let this be the boundary this is what this is let's say the junction in between them so what do we have this side is doped with a p with a p type impurity right so in the p type what do we have we have holes right so holes are the majority charge carriers over here and the n type material the n type material what do we have we have uh, electrons as the majority charge carriers so let me draw it with this green color right now this combination you know represents a neutral atom this positive ion with an electron is a neutral atom this negative ion with a hole is a neutral atom right now what do you have this is the p-type material the black is this is the p-type material and the green color is the n-type material so in the p-type material what do we have we have holes as the majority charge carriers we have holes and the and and uh, the minority charge carriers are what the minority charge carriers are electrons which I have not drawn and similarly for the n side we have the majority charge carriers are electrons and the minority charge carriers are holes so let me draw the minority charge carriers as well so over here I will have a few number of electrons and over here I will have a few number of holes so we have taken a base a semiconductor base one side of it is is doped with this p type material the other is doped with n type material this process is called diffusion or this is called implantation diffusion or implantation and implantation yes and implantation not implantation this is called an implantation the process of doping one side with a p type impurity and another side with the n type impurity so if you want me to write it down so i will write it in a shortcut doping one side with p and other with n So this is the process of doping or an implantation right now what do you have have a look this is the case of the p injunction diode when no bias is applied now what is bias so bias is the application of external voltage bias is external voltage so we will see in the next video that we have metallic contacts over here this is one metallic contact this is the other metallic contact and we connect them 
through so, to some external voltage over here we have no external voltage which means we have no bias applied no external bias so what happens now you know the you know what diffusion is everything from a region of higher concentration tends to move to a region of lower concentration so on the p side we have holes at a higher concentration and on the n side we have electrons on the higher concentration so they will move to the opposite area of lower concentration what is diffusion we know this is the movement from higher concentration to lower concentration movement from higher to lower concentration so which means the holes moves to the n side holes will move to the right that is to the n side and similarly the electrons will move to the left that is to the p side so and this current now this so 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 due to the the the, the movement of charges what results current results so this current that is due to the movement of the majority charge carriers is called as diffusion current diffusion current this is due to majority charge carriers all right fine now the next is depletion region so we have a depletion region developed depletion region what is this depletion region so i'm telling you in a while but what happens when the p side holes go to the n side so they combine with electrons and uncovering of immobile ions take place all right so what happens uncovering of ions take place and what do we mean by this uncovering so the holes from p side recombine with electrons on n side so what remains a positive charge remains a positively charged ion remains on the n side right and similarly electrons from n side recombine with holes on the p side so 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 what happens over here we have negatively charged ions remaining so this region which consists of what which consists of the positive and negative ions now this region is called depletion region this one which consists of only this and why is it called this because it is depleted of free charge carriers so where shall i draw it so i will draw it over uh, here right now what do we have we have it like this let's say we had the this uh like this yes and we have over here at this side like this on the n side now what happens this is the the junction right so 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 what happens with the green color now we only have we only are left with negative ions on this side negative ions on this side right because recombination have took place now here we have positive ions and this region this region let me mark it with this green color this is called as the depletion region and it has a certain width which is represented by wd this is the width of this depletion region now a question arises if 
this hole can combine with an electron this electron can combine with a hole now why not this hole come go and combine over there with the electron why not this electron comes over here and combine with this hole so the answer to this is that now we have the positive and negative charge carriers so we have an electric field established which is from the right to the left we have an electric field established so what does this electric field do electric field in the depletion region so this electric field does what now if this hole wants to come over here so it can cross this negative ion but this positive ion will repel it similarly this electron will repel what this uh, this electron will be repelled by this negative ion so an electric field is established in the de depletion region which repels further flow of majority charge carriers this electric field now further will stop the uh, will stop the further flow of the majority charge carriers is that fine okay now now what happens is that this electric field which means this potential is acting as a barrier for the further flow of of what of holes and electrons so this potential is called as the barrier potential or this is called as built in potential and what is this potential so this is specified for each and every uh, semiconductor base that you have taken which means it is fixed the width of depletion region is fixed for any what for any semiconductor material for silicon let's say it is 0 0.7 the barrier potential for any silicon material right so this is the barrier potential now what happens if you uh, do what if some minority charge carriers moves we have we discussed about the majority charge carrier but now what about the minority charge carrier so in minority we have uh, electrons <coughs> on the p side and holes on the left side so the current due to this minority charge carrier if they move if negative ion move over negative charge move over here or the hole moves over here so the current due to uh, what due to minority charge carriers is called drift current current due to minority charge carriers is called drift current all right and what happens this is in the opposite direction right if the majority charge carriers move in that so the minority will move in this which means this is in opposite direction to to the diffusion current and what happens under a steady state condition under a steady state which means what when no applied when we have no bias applied no external voltage is applied so we have the net current is the diffusion current and different is equal is the same under steady state condition which means no bias is applied what happens the drift current is equal to diffusion current let's say diffusion i current yes so what happens the net current that this means this means that the net current through an open circuited diode this material now this is called a diode right p-n junction is diode so the net current through an open circuited diode is zero all right 
because the current moving from left to right equals the current move moving from right to left so which means the net current through this diode which means that no external bias is applied no external potential is applied so the net current through this material is zero all right so that's all about today that's all about this lecture of the pn junction diode the basic definition what we did we we dope one side with the p type material the other with n type electron holes recombination take place uncovering of immobile ions what do we have we have free charge carriers now negative ion and positive ion they are in the depletion region electric field is established which further stops the flow of the majority carriers and this barrier is called as the barrier potential built in potential which is specific for any specific semiconductor base the diffusion current that is due to this majority carriers the, the minority charge carrier is current is uh, drift current all right this is in opposite direction to the what to the diffusion current under steady state which means under an open circuited diode or the no external bias drift current equals diffusion current so what happens the net current through an open circuited diode is zero that's all about it see you in the next lecture with the forward bias condition till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye